Hey, good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name is Emma. Make sure you stick around. I do a weekly vlog each week and I do hauls and all sorts of fun like Disney chats and days out. I wasn't around for a couple of days ago for my usual upload because guys, I had a tooth taken out. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know the trauma of the many visits to the dentist and the tooth being removed. It took ages to heal. It was all a bit of a nightmare. It's been two and a half weeks since I started to get tooth pain and today I feel 85% okay. In England it is hot today and I know some of you love it when I say it's hot and I tell you the weather and you're like, in our country that would be cold. So in England today it's about 22 and I am sweaty. I've got no eye makeup on because I've got hay fever and as soon as this video finished, I'm gonna go in the garden. Stephen's gone to pick up a paddling pool. We're having a barbecue. Everything has happened that is standard British people in hot weather. Um, you said you wanted a pan under a home bargain tool. I hadn't been to home bargains for ages. So I went up and picked some bits up from home bargains. So I'm here to show you what I got. If you hear any snuffling in the background, it's a very old dog just walking around and being a grumpy old lady. Right, the first thing that I picked up, I'm actually off to London tomorrow and I'm hoping I'm gonna vlog it and um, the kids are old enough to now to carry their own little rucksack each. And we saw this and Ethan was like, oh. so this was 3 dollars and it is a really small, like a lounge fly style kind of rucksack. So it's really little, 3 dollars Gryffindor, if you're new here, my little boy loves Harry Potter perfect for him he can put a drink in it he can put a snack in it he can put a pen he can put all those weird pop things popping things are all obsessed with so he was really pleased with that and it also means i don't have to carry stuff both of the kids we picked up one of these water pistols for them for the garden so that will be really fun to have all throughout summer oh, i'm so hot i need a bit of cool air on me we picked up both um then both one of them we also got um, this little tennis set and things like this are always really fun for kids, aren't they? So it comes with like a normal ball and then like a giant ball, so it's a jumbo tennis kit. You are right, Luce? You having a little snuffle? Now Stephen picked up some bits and bobs, so I'm gonna delve into his bag and show you what he got, I have no idea. I'm starting off with a very sophisticated and exciting, some sponges. <laughs> We've got some sponges. He's also got a, a barbecue because we're going to have a barbecue and we don't own a um, proper barbecue. So if you have any recommendations below for nice barbecues, let me know. He also picked up some glass cleaner because he wants to clean the windows because that's the kind of man he is. Um, and he picked up, what's this? some bathroom cleaner as well. Picked up some bathroom cleaner. So that's Stephen's little haul, thrilling haul. Mine is a little bit more exciting. I've got lots of bits and bobs. Um, if you are new here, my children have a reward box and every week they kind of um, work towards getting some cat the reward box. The reward box prizes, I pick up here and there whenever I see them, home bargains, Poundland, they're always about a pound or under a pound. So anytime I see any, I get them and then fill up the reward boxes and they can choose a treat each week. Some of the rewards, um, some of the kind of tasks that I like them to do is, uh, could be simple things like get your coat on to go to school on time, get to bed nicely, that kind of stuff. So for the reward box, um, I picked up them both for 99p, a Coca-Cola lip smacker. And if you aren't the parent, of a tweeny child, you will not realise how much children love hilariously comedy lip balms. So I've got that. And actually they had a couple, they had um, big ones as well that I thought was really good. This was 99p and I was like, what? This is some sort of toilet thing called Flush Force. Here they're called Flush Em All. It's got a toilet in, it's about poo, Ethan will live his best life playing with that. So he was excited by that. Um, this was 99p, it is like a blind box and it's Wreck-It Ralph. 
and there are 10 different characters to collect so that will go in Erin's little box I think Ethan actually has a couple already in there what else did I get oh here's another great thing this is a littlest pet shop little blind box as well again 99p these are brilliant if you are going on long car, car journeys because I know a lot of us in um, the UK will be staying close to home if you are going on a plane or a coach trip anything like that I always put like a little treat in let me know if you ever want me to do a video on car journeys and how I kind of keep kiddos entertained and we are hoping at the end of the year we are hoping to drive to Paris uh, so I will definitely be getting some little treats for that so I got that for my office upstairs um, I just wanted a box of tissues so I just picked up a little box, 69p tissues from Kleenex. I thought it would look nice, make me feel all fancy. Um, I used a crease releaser that I sometimes put on my stories, but they don't have that one anymore. And it was a, f a funny brand. I can't remember what it was called. So I'm trying a different one. I'm trying Lenore Summer Breeze. Um, I don't really, you're supposed to like spray stuff and then the, it removes creases. I'm not aware of that really working. No idea, could do, could be wrong, could revolutionise my life. I'll let you know. But um, it's just nice to freshen up stuff to make them smell nice, you know. We've got pets, we've got dogs, we've got rats, we've got hamsters. Anything that makes stuff smell a little bit nice is good. In my eyes. Uh, we've got some, what I call garden shoes let me know I'm looking at it now we've got a basket by the back door of garden shoes this is where we keep things like fake crocs we keep fake adidas sliders and these are the shoes the children can pop on to go in the paddling pool to go in the garden to go and play a bit of football these were a couple of quid these for ethan they also do them in adult sizes um really nice comfy you right, gorgeous yeah. small boys come down because he's desperate Brutally waiting to get his Harry Potter bag. Do you want to take the Harry Potter bag? We finish now. Yeah. You can go take that upstairs. Go on then, go and fill it up for our adventure tomorrow. He's been waiting. Hi. Hi. Go on then, gorgeous. Go and take that upstairs and fill it up while I finish this. And then we can get in the pool. Wait, mommy. I've got a <laughs> They're going to pack. I'm a bit worried because we're going to London for a day. What are they going to pack in a bag? do we require to go to London for a day? Who knows? I saw these um, when I was walking around with Erin. Um, these are super softening, indulgent printed face masks, vanilla ice cream, 89p. Super fun, super easy, nice little treat. Um, I've mentioned before, they have like a big, uh, a nice relaxing bath once a week. They have showers most of the week and a nice relaxing bath. That's great for that. So this for Ethan, <laughs> little John Cena. John Cena. Little mini John Cena, how cool is that? That again is perfect if you are, because we can start having socially distanced birthday parties maybe in gardens and stuff and they're great for like little party favours. John Cena. Um, to go on our little train journey tomorrow I picked up some Radox hygiene hand wipes. I'm going to have hand sanitizer, but I just thought that would be good in case we just to wipe a table, do you know what I mean? Just to wipe a table or something. Just to give something a wipe and it's little and it'll go nicely in my bag. I am going on a Disney cruise in the summer. It's an English cruise. I'm not off to the Bahamas. I'm not off to Hawaii. I'm off to somewhere in England and we just sit in the English sea <laughs> for a few days. And I am in a Facebook group about Disney cruises, which is super intense. Facebook groups are really intense, aren't they? And so they said, uh, when you are on a cruise, you really, really need to have um, beach towel clips because your towels, like maybe gets windy in the flop. I don't know, but I just thought, okay, cool. I'll get some then. And this will also be good. Um, we are hopefully going away for like a British um little trip as well and sometimes it gets a bit windy and these are like three quid i thought we'll keep these forever and we can use them that was really cool obviously you know we have a bazillion animals so i picked up um some 
Russell Rabbit Crunchers, uh, which is suitable for rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, chinchillas, gerbils, mice, and rats. So I picked up that. Yep, yeah, so got that for the little animals. The hamster isn't a huge fan. The rats like them, so that's good. And what else did I get? It is, in England, it is half term, so we have, um, in England we have, how many half terms do we have a year? Three? October half term, yeah, this is like half term in between Easter and summer, so it's a little week off, it's called, I, I call it Whit Week, but I don't know if anybody else calls it Whit Week, let me know. And we've got a few play dates because people are actually allowed in our houses. So the kids have got their friends coming over, which is really exciting because we moved here. Nobody's um, we've had a couple of family members in. They've had no friends around. They've not showed anybody their pets. We've got a couple of play dates. So I picked up some of your box standard classic play date treats. You got your chocolate fingers can't possibly eat one. You need to eat about 10 in a go. Kids love them. Erin saw these, wanted these. Unicorn edition, magical strawberry. I think jammy dodgers are always strawberry, or maybe they're raspberry. I don't know what makes them magical, but I got them. Uh, I also got some, you were like, Emma, you excited me with your magical jammy dodgers. Gooey apple, <laughs> slime edition, or when you're eight and you're 10, oh, and your mates come around, do you want a slime jammy dodger? Woo! And you can't have a party without a party ring. So I got uh, some party rings, which is two packs, because we've got two um, play dates here, so we can have one each. And these are just cute little like biscuits for children are always ravenous when they come on play date. So I'll have like, have a little biscuit when they get here. They can have one with a pudding and I'm sure we'll give them a nice lol or something as well. So I think that, that is it. Lots of nice stuff um, for the reward boxes. Lots of nice stuff for the garden. And um, little Lucy's just strolling around. Got some cleaning bits and pieces as well. Um, I can do another haul at some point soon, maybe Poundland. I haven't been to Poundland for a long time as well. <gasps> Yay! Stephen is back with the paddling pool. Does it look good? Let's go and check out my Instagram. I'm sure, we'll, I'm sure I'll have me posing in a paddling pool. I've got some paddling. I bought a new one at five o'clock this morning. I was like, but all the paddling pools will sell out because that's what happens every year. Like anything in Britain, bit of sun, I'm, I kid you not, if you live in other countries, I kid you not, we go bonkers. Paddling pools go, barbecues go, um, parasols for gardens go, ice holes go. <laughs> so I was like five o'clock, like, we need a paddling pool. And Stephen just went and picked it up. Right. I will see you in a few days for another video. Hopefully it'll be a London vlog. If it's not a London vlog, it'll be some sort of homey vlog. Um, I love you lots. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you subscribe, here is a virtual high five. Go and follow me on Instagram. I do loads of fun reels and stuff. Oh, and also I'm on TikTok. Go and check me out there. Like the youth. That's me being youth. 